Hey everyone, here's a question. The area of a rectangle is 49 centimeter square and its breadth is 2.8 centimeter. Find the length of the rectangle. So what we have given? We have given the area of rectangle. So we don't have to find out the area. It's given the question which is 49 centimeter square. And we have given the breadth of rectangle which is 2.8 centimeter. What would you find out? We have to find out the length. So we have to find out one of the dimension here. We have given breadth and we have given the area. Now since area is given, we are going to use the area here to find out the length. So let's write down what is given here. So we have given two things. So given is, one is area. So area of rectangle or I am just writing here area. Area is 49 centimeter square. And they have also given the breadth. I am just writing small b. Small b stands for the breadth is equal to 2.8 centimeter. Now what to find out? We have to find out here length. Now we are talking about the area here. So what is area of rectangle formula? So area of rectangle is a length into breadth, right? So in place of area, I am going to substitute, as I am going to substitute everything what I know from the question. Area of rectangle now, I know it's 49. So I am going to substitute here 49. I am not writing down the dimensions now, the units, uh, not dimension, I am sorry. I am not writing down the units here, that is centimeter square and centimeter. I am going to write down this at the end. And the length I don't know, so I'm writing down L here, and breadth is 2.8. Right now, I want to find out the L value, so I'm going to transpose 2.8 to the other side of the equation. Now, what happens here is 49 upon 2.8 will get because it is in multiplication and transpose goes to division. So this is equal to length. Now let's cancel them. Now we have learned in lawyer classes if I remove decimal point. I will get a 10 in the numerator. Now why 10? Because in the denominator if you see after decimal I have only one digit right. So that is why there will be a 10 in the numerator right. Now 10 will get multiplied in the numerator. If the decimal was there in the numerator, the 10 will get multiplied in the denominator. This you have learnt in your 4th and 5th class. I am not explaining this in, in a deep concept like I am not explaining here. So just understand that remove the decimal point and then 10 will get multiplied in the numerator. If there are two digits at a decimal point, then 100. 100 contains two zeros, right? So how many digits? That many zeros will get multiplied. So I want to rewrite this. So this is length is equal to 49 multiplied by 10 divided by 2 point, no, sorry, 28. Now decimal is removed, I got 28. Now we can cancel 28 and 49 in 7 tables. 7 7s are 49 and 7 4s are 28. We can cancel 4 and 10 in 2 tables. 2 2s are 4 and 2 5s are 10. Now we are left with multiply the numerator numbers 7 5s are 35. So we will get here 35 upon 2. Now uh, of course 35 is an odd number so it will not go in 2 table. We are going to get the answer in decimal. You can divide it or you can cancel it. I am going to divide and show you how the answer will be. We are going to get this in decimal. So 2 1s are 2 remainder is 1, drop this 5 here. So 2 7 is 14, 1 is a remainder, right? We are going to use a decimal point here and take a 0. So 2 5 is a 10. So we will get here 17.5. So 17.5 centimeter is the length here. So that is it. I hope this question is clear. In case you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.